Hi everybody and welcome to a new YouTube video on this channel. My name is Jenny if you don't know me. So today's video is going to be a video where I react to your assumptions about me. Yeah. I was a bit nervous because you always think oh, people are talking about you, especially when you are online, when you do YouTube or when you do Instagram, you know people are definitely going to talk about because you're just out there. Um, so I was a bit nervous actually to read what you guys Said. To be honest, it's not that bad. I was like, come on guys, you know, it's not really not juicy at all <sighs> Some of them are also going to be in German, so I'm going to translate them. Some of them are in English I think the problem with Instagram is that I can see who wrote the message So I don't think people are actually going to be that brave and say what they actually think At least some of them Alright, so the first one is you actually don't want to go back to Germany And at this moment, this is absolutely true. I do not want to go back However, sometimes, like especially now with Corona, that I can't... So I was planning on going home over Christmas and I was really excited because I was like, I'm finally going to see my family again after one and a half years. And, you know, now Corona is like, wait a minute. You know, I could definitely go back home, but the thing is, I don't know if I'll be able to come back. And if I go home, I don't know if I'll have to isolate for two weeks and then if I come home, or like come back to Australia and see, I already call it home. Um, if I come back to Australia, I'll also have to isolate for two weeks and I really don't want to do that. So we're going to postpone that trip back home. It actually makes me really homesick at the moment because the thing is, if you know you're going to go home, it's like in your head, okay, it's, everything's fine. I'm going to be home then anyways. But now I'm like, I don't really know when I can go home. And that makes it a little bit more difficult. Uh, and the next one is kind of real related to that. And it says you're more likely to stay in Brisbane or move back after a short time being back home. And this is absolutely true probably because the first time I went home after my first year here, I was like, no, I'm not doing this. I'm going back. <laughs> and now I'm like, I really, really want to stay, you know. But I also want to go back home and seeing everyone at home. Because right now it's summer at home and... Just seeing everyone having a good time, doing barbecues outside with their friends. I'm like, mm, I kind of miss that. But then once summer is over, I know I'll definitely absolutely hate it back there. So I'm like, you know what? I'm actually kind of glad I'm here. The next one is, <laughs> you are pretty confident in front of the camera, but you're shy with new people. And that is actually super true. Like even talking to a camera took me a very long time to get used to. In the beginning when I first started doing YouTube, I was kind of like, oh, I don't really know how to do it. And I had to like refilm videos three or four times until I got confident enough to actually be myself in front of the camera. Share with new people. I'm definitely an introvert. Like I love meeting new people, but it takes me so long to actually warm up to them and to be bubbly and be myself. It also has a lot to do with social anxiety. So I like get overwhelmed and there are lots of new people and I just can't handle it. And Sometimes I'm in social situations where I'm like, I meet new people and I can only, you know, be with them for a couple of hours and then I like need to recharge my battery or something like that because I just get really overwhelmed with a lot of new people at the same time. It depends though if the people are, you know, if I feel really, really safe and comfortable with them, you know, when I meet new people, I'm like a little bit distant. I usually don't talk, which I know it makes me a bit weird. And I am really awkward in new situations usually because I'm like, I just don't talk, I like to observe the situation, I like, I just sit back and I listen to everyone else. Definitely shy with new people. Loves puppies. So this one's actually a funny one because I do love puppies. Everything like small animals, I think they're so cute. I really wish I could have a bunny here. In Queensland you can't though, and especially now because I'm living with a host family, I'm not going to get a pet. I think I'm more of a cat person than a dog person. You know what, cats just do their own thing, you don't really have to take them for walks you feed them and you give them a pet now and then and they just come to you when they want your attention and then they just you know go back and do their own thing and I'm like you know I kind of like that <laughs> now the next one I don't really understand but it says you are a sweet pretty and impatient person so it's like sweet and pretty and then it's impatient am I impatient I definitely don't think I'm imp impatient sometimes maybe I'm a pretty chill person, I think. It depends, like if I have to be somewhere and everything's just really, really slow, I'm definitely impatient. I, I would say I'm a patient person. Especially now when I real when I think about that I am working with a one-year-old toddler, I think I'm definitely a patient person. I can't 
control this situation so why should I stress about it um, the next one is so kind and caring that one's actually really sweet I didn't think people would say such sweet things I, was, I more thought they would be like yeah you're a bitch or something I don't know <laughs> it says so kind and caring that actually makes me so happy I definitely think that I'm a caring person to people that I really really love I'd say I'm kind yeah like some people say that I do have a resting bitch face <laughs> And I don't know, it's be probably because I don't talk and I just sit back and I listen to everyone. I'm not sure. You know, I don't want to brag about it, but I definitely think I'm one of a kind person. Next one is, I'm assuming everyone loves you when they meet you. I can't really answer that because I don't know, because I don't really talk to people when I first meet them. Like, when it's one-on-one, -on -one, you know, when I meet a girl that I met on Instagram or something or newer pairs that I know I'm definitely open about them that's a hard one because like I don't know people are different people like different people I really don't know how to answer to that like because I don't know what other people think you know that's the whole thing <laughs> now this one says stuck up and I don't know what that means so maybe I'll have to meaning <laughs> okay this one's juicy Ooh, someone is snobbish and act like he's better or superior to everyone else and it also says an example of stuck up is a girl who always wears fancy clothes and looks down on people who wear plain clothes all right so to this one i'm definitely not stuck up like about myself what i learned when i was pretty young i started not judging people like there are some situations where i'm definitely <laughs> where i'm tested you know but I think I, I definitely don't judge people when they wear fancy clothes. I'm like, this is a queen, you know. When I see people out there walking really confident and I'm like, oh my god, I just wish I had their confidence, you know. Like I would never tear anyone down because they do what they love. Because I wouldn't want people to tear me down because I do what I love, you know what I'm saying. So I don't think I'm a stuck up person. Like even saying that I'm not a stuck up person sounds like I'm a stuck up person, you know what I'm saying. But I just don't think I am because I don't want to be judged either. Like, especially within a group of girls. Initial reaction is like, what is that? But then when you think about it, you're like, actually, this is so cool that she loves to wear that, you know? The next one is, you have an Australian boyfriend. Yes, I do. <laughs> uh, and then the next one is, you blog full time. Instagram is definitely, definitely not full time because I only usually do it in the evenings. Sometimes I, you know, have to take days where I'm like okay I'm gonna create some content today but I really love it and enjoy it so I wouldn't say it's full time but yeah and then the next one is your favorite color is pink how did you guess that <laughs> pink is definitely one of my favorite colors I think when I was younger I kind of stopped liking pink because you know it was so girly you know there was some part of me that was like why do you like pink like pink's so girly you don't want to be like other girls you know this stupid thinking internalized misogyny or something i don't know and then when i was like 15 or something i started getting really into pink because i was like i love it you know what i just love it and i literally one time i wore an outfit pink skinny jeans from hollister i think and then i wore a white and pink stripe long sleeve shirt just because i love the color so much there was literally everything i wore was pink so these are the ones that are in German and I'm going to translate them now. Now this one is, when I first read it I was like, are you stupid? What is that? And then I read from who it was and I was like, oh my god, that's actually so funny. I don't know, it's like an insider. Um, it is, du findest mit etwas Butter beschmierte Babys lustig. <laughs> and in English it, you find babies that are covered in peanut butter funny. And it's from this vine. <laughs> This baby covered in peanut butter sitting on a table or something and the mum's like, does it feel good? And the baby's like, ugh. Like, literally one of my favourite vines. I don't know why. I just think babies are so funny. Next one is, diese Wimpern sind fake. Spaß. I love you. Neidisch auf deine Wimpern. Um, now in English, this is that the assumption is that my eyelashes are fake and I actually do get that a lot because they are just really long. I have that from my mum. My eyelashes are so long. Like, I literally don't need extensions, but... On the other side, I kind of get a bit sad when people are like, oh, her eyelashes are fake anyways, you know? I'm like, no, they're not. <laughs> this angle is so bad. Next one is, I think you're a really nice girl. Um, ich glaube, du bist ein echt nettes Mädchen. 
sounds so boring i think i'm actually def definitely shy and kind when you first meet me but when i warm up to people i could be i can be really weird the next one is einfach ein süßes liebesmädchen die ihr ding macht und das ziemlich gut just a sweet a lovely girl that does her thing and that really good is that a good translation i don't know um, and this one actually made me super happy because it's like, you know, people actually like what I'm doing and I think that makes me really happy because sometimes when you put yourself out there on YouTube or on Instagram, you're like, oh, are people actually watching? Do people actually like it? You know, and then when people give me good feedback, I'm like, you know what, it makes me just so happy. And the next one is funny. It says, um, du wurdest gemobbt, weil du so unschuldig aussiehst. Um, and it says, you have been bullied because you look so innocent and in primary school I definitely did get bullied a little bit um I don't know it was like a hate love situation with my friends like some of my friends it was like three of my friends and they would like drink my water and eat my food and it wasn't too bad but some one time they were like like my mum just had a baby so my baby brother and they were like I feel so sorry for her baby brother to have such a horrible sister and I was like you know that just was the worst I'm really short and I was really little I did not look like a person that was supposed to be in middle school definitely people when I was standing at the bus they would you know push me and get me out of the line to go to the bus but you know and then I got older especially in high school I didn't care at all but, you know there would always be drama going around and I was always the last one that knew of it. Not about me, but about other people, you know. There's always drama going around and like rumors and stuff, and I never knew about them because I just didn't care, you know. And then people were like, well, we've talked about this three weeks ago. We were standing next to you, and I was like, I've never heard of that before. Like, what do you mean? Definitely not a big drama queen. I'm so boring, you know. Anyways, so this was today's video. These were all of the assumptions that you guys sent to me. Definitely go check out my Instagram. It's at Jenny Bean. It's where I usually post a lot about my YouTube when I post a new video and stuff like that. Um, so if you're interested in following up about that, I don't have a Twitter or anything. I usually just put it all on my Instagram. So if you are interested, go follow me there. Yeah, so I hope you like this video. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all safe. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye.